What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Battlefield 2042. I want to talk about, firstly, what I thought about with the trailer, okay, because the trailer was phenomenal, and, and there's not too much to say about it, but uh, we'll, we'll go over that. But I also want to talk mainly about the differences, the big differences between current gen, which I would cons which uh, I guess other way of saying it, next gen, right, PS5, Xbox Series S and X, versus last gen, and just how big of a difference uh, that is. We were warned that the game would be almost entirely different, you know, from one versus the other. I think that is 100% going to happen, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? So, as always, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. Hit the like button, definitely helps YouTube spread these videos out much, much more than they normally would. And follow me over on Twitter if you guys haven't already, Podcast Now 15 Link is in the description below, or obviously you can just look it up over on Twitter. Uh, I am going to be covering Microsoft Bethesda's press conference, okay? So, that's something that we'll be doing on Sunday, and that's the next time we're going to see this game. Well, as well, uh, it seems like it's very possible we see something at Summer Game Fest tomorrow, but obviously the next big thing that we get to see from Battlefield will be on Sunday's press conference, okay? So, you know, really quickly, just to gush about the trailer, I mean, that was phenomenal. That's exactly how you... Now, I, and I, I avoided leaks... Um, I, I knew there were some out there. I saw technically like the, the concept art and the picture and stuff for like the title and all that stuff. But I stayed very, very quiet and away from all of this kind of stuff. So this is the first time I've seen pretty much anything on this game. Phenomenal. Um, you know, obviously it's CG. Obviously we need to see the gameplay. That's so important, especially when we're considering EA, right, and all that kind of stuff. So it is, uh, that's something that you have to keep in the back of your head. But I mean, look. The trailer's point is to show what the game is supposed to be. I would say supposed to be. Now, whether the game matches it, it you know, we don't know yet, okay? But, well, actually, we have seen, like, leaked screenshots of what the game looks like. But the trailer was absolutely phenomenal. The weather, the the, the variety. And now, there's there's seven maps. It's actually a, a pretty good amount of maps, I'd say, overall for a, for a multiplayer game. And they're all very big very different and uh you know just filled with just really really cool stuff there seems like there's going to be a lot of stuff in this multiplayer so you know there's nothing more to say uh you know for that now the info we got afterwards was the big stuff the release date right obviously october 22nd it's just multiplayer no single player so for me you know is that disappointing i should stick with my guns because i am a single player guy i would say a game that has single player and then they take it out has always kind of gotten criticism for doing that. I'm not some like Battlefield fanboy where I'm going to let them off the hook. That is disappointing. Again, I kind of just look at it as if you've gotten mad at Call of Duty games in the past, or really any game that once had a campaign that now doesn't have a campaign, you have to be, you have to make it, you know, you have to, I guess, apply it to every single example, right? So, but at the same time, I will tell you. I've played the Battlefield single players. Um, some of them are much better than others. Some of them, it's almost as if they shouldn't have had it in in the first place. I'm not disappointed, which is odd because like normally I am disappointed or at least like caught off guard by something like that. But at the same time, I don't know, I'm playing this for the multiplayer. That's why I always play Battlefield games, and uh, that's what makes them special. And that's, uh, you know, I guess to their credit, that's what they even said in the press releases. Okay, this is what we're good at, this is what we're the best at, and so we're just going to focus on that, okay? There's live service stuff, that stuff we're going to kind of avoid, right? The battle passes and stuff like that. Look, I think done right, it's fine, you know, it's going to probably be more cost, uh, it, they're going to they're gonna charge you more than they probably should, by the end of it, you're probably going to end up paying for the game, multi like, if not twice, at least, like, maybe even more, maybe three times, right, but you are going to get a lot of content, they've been generally good with that stuff in the past, they haven't been perfect, but they've been uh, decently well, you know, for me, I kind of pick and choose. Most times, I actually don't even participate in those expansions, the season passes, stuff like that, you know, specifically for Battlefield. Now, the biggest thing, re you know, release date's obviously big. Trailer's really big. But the difference between last gen and current gen, okay? 128 players on PC and on Xbox Series X, S, and PS5. Enormous. That's part of the reason why I truly do believe this game is going to be a success is that if... They can make that trailer gameplay, like if you can actually do that, and it runs well, and like there's not server crashes for like five weeks and stuff like that, which there's been a lot of server issues in past Battlefield games for like the first week plus, okay? If they can avoid that, I don't see how you mess it up, because 64 versus 64 is 
outrageous. It is outrageous. And then dynamic, you know, twisters and tornadoes and things crashing and all. I mean, oh my dear God, right? The possibilities are endless. So that's on next gen, current gen, reduced map sizes, as well as capping it at 64 players, max. So 32 versus 32. It's also a $10 difference. If you buy the game on PS4, Xbox One, stuff like that, you get it for 60. If you go for the PS5, you know, an Xbox Series X version, it's 70 and there's no, well, I assume there probably is an upgrade, but you'd have to pay that extra $10. Now, hopefully nobody's upset about that part because, well, okay, in reality, for $10, now, uh, in, in, now actually in reality, it's not just $10, right? You need to have the next-gen consoles. But if you're literally looking at the price for, you know, last-gen versus current-gen, you look at it and you say, okay, 10 bucks, and then you get almost an entirely different game. So, you know, I'm not going to hold on it too long, in like, or, you know, I'm not going to, like, pause on it too long, but I do just want to make it clear again, look, I've been on the side of leaving last-gen behind, not right away not the day it comes out or the day after i'm not saying you need to get the ps5 tomorrow but i have been a supporter of it and i've been a supporter of it one of the primary reasons for it holds it back and uh, and you can argue all you want that it doesn't developers can say oh no no we weren't constrained at all by having to do it on both that's just a load of bs in my opinion you can clearly see it where their ambition for battlefield 2042 what they want it to be literally is not possible on last gen. You could say, well, some things are in it. Well, yes, and I will counter with some things are not in it. So it's not their full goal. It's not their full dream of what they want the game to be. Honestly, and I'm not and I I'm, I'm not saying this to sound entitled. I don't want anybody that would be just a stupid thing. Don't come at me with the oh you're entitled. Oh, you're so lucky that you have I mean, I am lucky that I got the PS5, but I mean, I like stayed up all night. I looked for it. I I got I guess I did get lucky, but I mean, I was on the hunt for uh for you know just nonstop looking for the PS5. So yes, I do have it, but like I can't imagine playing this game. And I, and I guess that maybe sounds pretty stupid, right? Because we haven't played the game yet. But I have a feeling when the game comes out, the differences are going to be very noticeable. You look at Tom Henderson as a Battlefield leaker, somebody we've talked about quite a bit um, on the channel. He talked about months ago how he but well actually he's kind of reiterated it over and over. Number one. These are going to be completely different games on one versus the other. And and uh, recently he even said, like, if you don't have next gen yet, save up and, and get next gen. And uh, hopefully people got mad at him because people get mad at me all the time for saying stuff that's much, it's not as bad as that. He was kind of, that's going after, like, the money. I understand money doesn't grow on trees, but he is kind of right, you know, in a way of, like, you know, if you want the premier Battlefield game, you need to get it on next gen. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that being the situation. It'll come out almost an entire year after Next Gen is out. I get the shortages. I get the money. I understand that. But I am just saying, take a step back and understand that, yeah, it makes sense. Hopefully, no. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just saying it because I don't know where the room is. You know what I mean? I don't know. And not the room, not the movie. I did watch it. It's That's quite a film. But, you know, uh, I, I don't know how to read the room in that, you know, maybe people are disappointed because there is such a drastic i mean it, there just is if you're gonna play it on ps4 versus ps5 or you know any of the other examples you, it's gonna be different and uh, i'm completely up for what what is i guess promise for the uh the next gen versions i cannot wait so definitely things that'll make people upset the live service stuff really never goes over well and i understand it the single player stuff doesn't go over well and i also understand it i get it i'm not disappointed by it because i do play uh play those games for the multiplayer but at the same time again when this has happened in the past people get upset as they should i mean uh like i get it and i get trying to prioritize and clearly i i would say this the reason this game is even able to come out this year like this this fall is because of that you know you have uh, activision having literally every single studio they own working on call of duty which is just a recipe for failure now battlefield uh, sounds like they've had a similar thing where they have like six, seven teams working on it. I hate that. That makes me very worried about those games. It makes me very scared. At the same time, it's not as bad as having every single studio. I guess it's, I should say that. And then, yeah, the only reason I would say it's able to come out is because they didn't do, or, I mean, there's only one of two things that could happen. It either comes out this year because they didn't do single player, or it still would come out, even though they're single player, and both would be trash. The single player would be awful, it would be watered down, and then the multiplayer would also just not be as ambitious and big 
as they want it to be, right? So ultimately, I am happy. I get why people, I guess, would be disappointed or upset at certain things. But I mean, again, I, I, I think this is how you do it. I mean, that trailer was outrageous. Some of the details, outrageous. So I'm very, very happy with it. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. What do you think? Do you have next gen? Are you going to be able to play it? Do you have to play it on, on last gen? What do you feel about the differences? All that stuff. Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up. Again, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Podcast now 15. We'll be covering this game uh, all throughout you know the summer You know at, at the E3 when they show it at Microsoft's, as well as whenever we see it, EA Play, betas, alphas, hope to cover it all, and uh, I'll be playing the game day one, and we'll go from there, okay? Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all on the next video.